Hello everybody, it's Mount Richard for the contest entry uh, into Elliot Cruz's uh, contest. <laughs> Keep it simple, stupid. Yep. He's having a contest. Keep it simple, stupid. And whoever wins the contest, he's going to donate $75 to their favorite charity. I'm picking the City of Hope, the hospital in Duarte, California, which I spoke about, I believe it was in my last video. My cousin Marty got cancer. He didn't have insurance. They took him in and uh, cared for him until he passed away. And uh, they didn't have to do that. Everybody that's in that hospital, there's no charge to the person. And that's my charity, the City of Hope. So when he announced this contest, the very first record that came into my mind is this one. The Ramones debut. Keep it simple, stupid. Now, rock and roll blew up when the Beatles hit our shores. And kids everywhere started bands. I mean, almost overnight. It was an explosion of garage bands and just all kinds of just, you know, kids from everywhere, from shore to shore, just started their bands. And the Beatles uh, pretty much spearheaded that in. And a lot of those garage bands, they their ambitions weren't quite as good as their talent. But that's cool. That's part of the fun of it. But as the Beatles developed, they got more sophisticated. They kind of pushed the envelope of actually music in the 60s. And when the Beatles broke up, a lot of bands in the 70s, not all, but a lot, took themselves a little too serious. And uh, they wanted to be the new Beatles. And they... And then there was also the prog rock strain of things that kind of some of those bands jumped over a cliff of taking themselves too serious and there's just too much going on. Now, I don't hate all prog rock. I'm a Yes fan. In fact, I saw Yes in 1973. And what blew, what screwed, messed up that concert for me was Rick Wakeman, who was not the original keyboardist. But he, I don't know, he just, it, it, he took himself too serious is the impression I got. What he, you know, projected. He had capes and all these keyboards all around. And, and apparently in person, he was not like that at all. He was a really down to earth and funny person. But music started just going off and i mean you had el low overproducing crap and these guys came along and just one two three four do, 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 do. now this blew up just like i mean not commercial wise but the effect it had it had this pretty much the same effect as the beatles did in the 60s these guys did in the late 70s a lot of bands started some of them weren't talented. Some of them were, and they developed into all these other genres. But this one here is a very basic, simple rock. And people that weren't back there then, just like people that weren't back when the Beatles, they don't realize the impact they had. It's hard to imagine the impact that this simple record had. But uh, yeah, there's even lyrics on here. It's a uh, D-U-M-B, everyone's accusing me, you know. And this is the box set came out. It's got the album in mono. It was originally released in stereo. And it, it's got uh, outtakes, uh, some C, a CD of outtakes, a CD of uh, some live gigs. This is my uh, original. It's not the very first press. I don't even know if the very first press even made it to the West Coast. This is the second press. And I was... Love to have an excuse to show this because it's signed by the Ramones. But uh, yeah, fantastic. Simple. Keep it simple. And they had a major impact. And one band that kind of sprung out 
or started after the Ramones is the Flying Lizards. Money. Now, they don't sound like the Ramones, but there were so many bands that started and, you know. These guys are, it's more electronic drum machine. I mean, primitive electronics or synthesizers. Drum machines. I mean, primitive drum machines. I mean, I could... That's more complicated than what they have going on here. And the vocals are not even sung. They're, they're basically spoken. And they have a cover of Money and uh, Summertime Blues on this. This is a 12-inch. They have an album out. I wasn't sure if I could handle a whole album of this. So I, I went the 12-inch route back in the day. And this is very simple. Now... When the Beatles came out, I mean, I, I, you know, I, the Beatles evolved and they started playing a little more serious stuff and people started taking themselves more serious and rock music more serious. And it got to the point where a lot of the stuff in the 70s, it, it's not even rock anymore. But when the Beatles first hit the shores, like I was talking about earlier, the garage band explosion. Now, I could have shown these in chronological order, but when he announced this contest, the very first record that came to my mind was the Ramones debut. So this is why I'm doing it in this order. But yeah, this is a Fort Worth teen scene, volume two, and uh, just a fantastic series of comps. And it's very surprising how many good bands came out of Fort Worth. It's, it's amazing. And the garage rock scene, it kind of got a revival in the 80s. There were some doing it in the late 70s due to the Nuggets comp that was released by uh, Lenny K. But this is a, a current band, Los Aspirados, Los Aspiradoros, which means the vacuum cleaners in Spanish. This band is actually from Spain, and it is just fuzzed out garagey greatness. I mean, I could have pu pulled a number of them, but I figured I'd show something that nobody else is showing except for maybe Dead Wax 66. Now, not everything simple is good. You got the Shags. They formed in 1968. This album was released in 1969. And this is definitely simple, and it's not good. It, I mean, it's it's a novelty record. Some people say, "Oh, it's great," and it's not. They're they're terrible. They're they sing flat. They they have no soul. But it, it it's just it's like a, a a train wreck. You know, you can't keep your eyes off it. You know, the shags. Not everything simple is great. And then. Like I said, in the 70s, a lot of bands started taking themselves too serious. But there were bands like uh, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath. And there was a, whole, a lot of the hard and heavy bands in the early 70s in the U.S. And uh, most of these bands, the critics didn't like at all. And one of those is Grand Funk. This is their Red album, which is my favorite album. They're a hard hitting, hard and heavy, hard rock. And it's simple, hard rock. And, you know, a lot of people say, oh, the Ramones, it's three chords and that's it. Da, 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 da. I think at times this bass player, he's only playing one chord, you know. <laughs> but it's so fucking loud, man. It sounds amazing. And a great picture. And it's on that green capital label. And this is one of the rare albums that I have two copies of. I looked for a good copy, affordable, for this album for a couple of years. I found some real in excellent shape. 50 bucks. and I finally found that green one and it was weird. It was like... Less than a month later, I ran across this copy, and I picked it up because it's on the red capital. It's not something I generally do, but 
Anyways, I'm going to leave a link to uh, Elliot Cruz's contest video so you can watch that. Elliot Cruz is a nice guy, hell of a nice guy. Um, be kind to your neighbor because we're all neighbors, I think is how he closes out his videos. He's got his black dog, Blackie or whatever the dog's name is. Beautiful animal. And uh, yeah, I, I love Elliot Cruz. He's a great gentleman. Uh, even though he does talk a little funny, he's a cool guy. And uh, I this is a great topic. I mean, I could have made a 30 or 40 minute video on this topic and I could have pulled a, 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 done a chronological thing of rock. But I, this is a contest entry. He's got to watch them all. So I, I want to keep it at a reasonable length. Anyways, take care. And I'll see you later. I'm going to be, my next video is going to be showing Zappa albums, which is a guy that wasn't necessarily always really simple. But anyways, take care. Take care, everybody. Go Dodgers.